APG Jamie here with a couple of tips for moving layer uh, video, previous video, blah blah, standalone. Instead of using the crochet cotton thread like I did, you can use uh, baker's twine, yarn, ribbon, uh, whatever kind of cording you have, thread, pick up the thread. <laughs> Oh, embroidery floss or whatever cording. Um, yeah, you you want to use more or less what you have. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna pick up the thread now. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you don't have a straw, paper straw, you can use a piece of paper. And your the the thing that you stick your thread ribbon fiber through. Uh, the thickness of it, uh, opening of it, is going to depend on what you're using. If you're using like a piece of yarn, you're definitely really going to want a, a, a paper straw. Um, you can just fold over the piece and glue it. I recommend making a slight gusset, not really a gusset, just folding over an end like that. Okay? And then I've already got the glue on there. Because sometimes I do things out of order and then fold that over and now you have a uh, you know a place for your your string to go through and um, I don't think I showed but instead of using the uh, the thicker um, box corrugated box chipboard that I used you can use just a layer or two of uh, cardstock okay there again depending on uh, your elements and stuff like that use what you have okay you have cereal box use cereal box as you can see the the uh, Baker's twine goes through that little fold over piece just fine don't have beads and buttons don't feel like messing with beads and buttons because those were kind of you know cumbersome I'm not going to tell you a lie you can just fold over a piece of paper and glue that on your uh, your string here I'm tying a knot on the end of it just to kind of help keep uh, the string from working itself through the glued uh, cardstock which you and I both know is probably really won't happen you know it's not going to work itself through there so you can just fold over a piece of paper and I've got a couple other samples coming up towards the end um, which you probably saw the thumbnail anyway and uh, that's what I did on both of those I don't go through the whole process because it's the same process okay I'm just trimming that off so it looks a little neater and there you go you see you've got a nice little handle to grab a hold to of it's not going to slide back through uh, the opening and that kind of thing so don't have uh, die cuts of your own uh, you got store-bought ephemera die cuts use those mm -hmm. it's the same thing you're just going to uh, you need a strip on the back to cover up your string okay and I will show you a slight alternative coming at towards more towards you, the end ish y'all um, you just want to make sure the strip that you're putting your uh, string underneath is thin enough that it's not uh, highly visible from the front side okay you can also, you know, do photographs. You can do this with photographs. Your your imagination is your only limit, okay? Baker dolls, how cute would that be? The size of your foundation, you know, can be bigger, can be smaller, depending on what you want to play with. Let's say you don't have die cuts, you don't have store-bought ephemera. Draw your own. Okay. Now in this case, my little drawing is is pretty pretty bad. <laughs> I just kept going because I'm like, no, I'm just I'm just gonna do it because you know stuff happens. So I sped it up so you don't have to sit through too much of that uh, cutting out kind of thing, y'all. Mm -mm. Here's our little fish. Woo woo. <laughs> 
sometimes you just gotta say, bless your heart, APG Jamie. So here we are, and on this one, I used a different uh, card color for the frame, which you can do that. And as you can see, I've got the paper tab, and I used thread. In which case, instead of gluing it behind my clear acetate, I punched a tiny hole on both ends and ran my thread through there in a slip knot fashion. And I just used a little folded piece of cardstock to run it through. Okay, on both ends. And I have it slightly diagonal. That is an image that is stamped on acetate, which came from packaging of a product that we've already spent our money on. We might as well use our free packaging. Okay, works just fine. Now you do need to use something like stays on. Archival will work, but it takes a really long time for it to dry. Just saying. Now here's another one, and on these two samples, I just had one item moving, which can be easier than more than one. And again, it's on a diagonal. You can also have your stuff come across horizontally. What I do not recommend is having one horizontal and one uh, vertical you know, on the same piece. And I'm just showing you a close-up of the butterfly. I used black thread to make the antenna. I just think it's adorable like that. I just love it like that. And this is one of my newest favorite quotes. Um, what does it say? We can't have perfection as long as we live in a place where gravity exists. Because the gravity of life distorts our perception. I think of that, y'all. It's a quote by me, APG Jamie. I think it's so fitting. Because as you can see, I didn't do anything perfectly. Photo montage! I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions. Thanks for watching and... Happy Arting, y'all!